Praise the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Eucharistic celebration on the memorial of Saint Andrew the Apostle. We pray for Divine Retreat Center. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the Divine Retreat Center summers be. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this your temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions and let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The entrance and defense. Beside the Sea of Galilee, the Lord saw two brothers, Peter and Andrew, and he said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear loving children of God, today is the last day in the month of November. So just thank God for the whole November and all the blessings that we received. Once again, we can remember all the departed members of our families on the last day in November. And also pray for all the newborn babies and their mothers with all the health issues and difficulties that they are facing at these days. Brethren, let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings. So prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery in a worthy manner. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the unity of the Father. Amen. Let us pray. We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed apostles Andrew was for your church a preacher and pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for readings. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. If your lips confess that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. By believing from the heart, you are made righteous. By confessing with your lips, you are saved. When scripture says, those who believe in him will have no cause for shame. It makes no distinction between Jew and Greek. All belong to the same Lord who is rich enough. However, many ask his help. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But they will not ask his help unless they believe in him. And they will not believe in him unless they have heard of him. And they will not hear of him unless they get a preacher. And they will not hear, <clears throat> they will never have a pe preacher unless one is sent. But as scripture says, the footsteps of those who bring good news are a welcome sound. Not everyone of, of course listens to the good news. As Isaiah says, Lord, how many believed what we proclaimed? So faith comes from what is preached, and what is preached comes from the word of Christ. Let me put the question, is it possible that they did not hear? Indeed, they did. In the words of the psalm, their voice has gone out through all the earth, and their message to the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Our response. Their message goes out through all the earth. Amen. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. And the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story. And night unto night makes known the message. A response. Their message goes out through all the earth. No speech, no word, no voice is heard. Yet their span goes forth through all the earth. Their words to the utmost bounds of the world. Our response. Their message goes out through all the earth. We stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, follow me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of my people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew. They were making a cast in the lake with their net, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, I will make you fishers of men. And they left their nets at once and followed him. Going on from there, he saw another pair of brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in their boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. And he called them at once, leaving the boat and their father, they followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear loving children of God, as we celebrate the feast of St. Andrew the Apostle, today the gospel passage 
is about calling disciples. When Jesus went out, he saw people were sitting on near the seashore and calling. First he called Peter, then Andrew, then uh, John, and then James. So all these apostles that Jesus called, I think, at once. Brothers and sisters, when we read this passage, sometimes we get a shock. Just Jesus looked at them or just Jesus gazed at them immediately. He said, follow me. And they left their board. They left their own father. They left their business. That's a fishing and their net equipment, everything they left and followed Jesus. We are quite sure that they have already heard about Jesus. They have already experienced the testimonies of the people about Jesus, for sure. Otherwise, all of a sudden, when Jesus calls someone, how can they go? Humanly, it's, it's for us not easy to understand. But the important thing, what I'm trying to share with you today, look at, the, look at the, how the Word of God says, Jesus gazed at them or Jesus looked at them or Jesus saw them. That brings a kind of comfort for me, for you on earth that he looks at me. He looks at you. It's not like my father or mother. It's not like my spouse or my friend or my colleague. When Jesus looks at me, that means that look is quite deep. That look is quite deep and that look speaks everything detailed. It's not a peripheral look just when you go for a shopping. Someone looks at you. How are you? Immediately good. What about you? That look is a peripheral one. That look, you do not know anything about a person. That look speaks, you know maybe something about a person, but absolutely you know nothing about the person within. But when Jesus looked at someone, his look, and when he said, he gazed at them, that's really deep because he knows exactly what's going on in the life of a person. Brothers and sisters, this is what I want to share with you. God looks at us 24 hours. When the apostles, they just looked him back and they responded, Jesus invited. It's my duty, your duty to respond to that look, that depth of Jesus. And also, keep in mind, God wants simple and ordinary people to do his work. It's not because of any one of us, our merits, that we do good. Of course, we cooperate to the will of God. But this word of God again reminds me and you today, God wants ordinary, simple people to do his work on earth. Because when he calls a person, he gives all that is necessary for that person. So, thank God that God used people according to his way. But we need just to respond to him. So this is something really very good for us. His look to each one of us. When Jesus gazed at me, it's not like my father. It's not like my mother. Or it's not my own sister or my siblings. They look at me. They do not know nothing about my personal life. But when Jesus looked at me, his look is completely deep. All the details he knows well. So this is a kind of comforting thing. My God knows me. He knows me through and through. And it is my duty to respond. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, walk of human hands, it will become for us bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, walk of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With the humble spirit and unread and we let Wash me. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Almighty God, that through these offerings, which we bring on the feast day of St. Andrew, we may please you by what we have bought, and be given life by what you have accepted through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundation, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out, as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, 
he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith saves Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of His, of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her devoted spouse, blessed apostles, all the saints, Saint Andrew, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Mary Magdalene, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we relay for unfailing help. May this sacrificial sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church honored with your servant Francis Apo, Anthony a bishop, the order of bishops and all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have someone before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> At the Savior's command and formed to by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Those who are not able to go to church physically today, this is your time of spiritual communion. You can join along with me when I recite this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body and the blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life. Amen. Amen. Communion and Ephen. Andrew told his brother Simon, we have found the Messiah, the Christ, and he brought him to Jesus. Thank you for your prayers to Divine Retreat Center community last yesterday for the retreat and the retreat went well. We remembered all the intentions that you shared. Let us pray. May communion in your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, 
so that by the example of the blessed apostle Andrew, we who carry in our body the death of Christ may merit to live with him in glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us receive the solemn blessings. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the Holy Apostle, Saint Andrew. Amen. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the Apostle make you under their protection witness to the truth before all. Amen. So that through the intercession of the Apostles you may inherit the eternal homeland for by their teachings you possess firmness of faith. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priest, O Jesus. Eternal priest, keep all your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may harm them. Keep unstained the anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body, keep unsullied their lips, purple with your precious blood. Keep your and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime mark of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruits, and may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation, and in heaven, their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us and obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. Jesus met with Richard.